viewer ask about what makes somebody a really good mentor? This week we have somebody asking, what makes somebody super productive and successful in their industry? And my quick tip, not really a trick, is learning a lot. This makes you a good mentor, of course, but learning also helps you become more efficient in so many different aspects of your life. And as I said in the previous video, you don't want to just read books that are music industry related, even though that we are DJs. And if you watch a lot of the episodes here on Distracting News TV, you'll see the wide range of skills that our DJs are consistently developing in the regards of negotiations, um, getting along with people, being just amazing business owners. So I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite picks and why each one of those books was so helpful for me. Starting with Captivate by Vanessa Van Edwards. It really is about the science of people and how to interact with them and what works and what doesn't. And what some people might have known is I had a baby and there's something weird that happens when you have a child as a woman um, where sometimes you don't know how to talk to other humans anymore because all you've been doing is changing poopa diapers. And so what I wanted to do was learn how to be that social butterfly again because I felt just socially awkward. This book was so insightful that it also kind of taught me about all the mistakes I was making before when I was having conversations with people. The things that I said that didn't make sense or even just trying to network. People hate networking events because they think that they should walk in there and impress everybody with all of their skill set when really little tip just talk to people ask them questions find out about them talk about things outside of the industry that you know you're trying to get into that might be relatable to them like hey oh you have kids <laughs> i got kids stories Another really amazing book that I read was Mel Robbins' Five Second Rule. The reason why this book was so amazing to me is because, like most of us, have been guilty, guilty of perfectionism, of procrastination. Discovering why that happens and how to hack it was so incredible. And again, this is a science-based book book. They're doing their research. They're finding out why some people are successful at one thing and others aren't. Uh, basically, it's when you feel the urge to do something, you'll talk yourself out of it. And if you don't want to talk yourself out of it, you go five, four, three, two, one, and you start walking towards that thing. If you need to make a phone call to book to, you know, go see a doctor and you have been procrastinating because you are scared, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you will talk yourself out of making that phone call. So when you have that initial reaction, like I should get up out of bed and go have myself some breakfast, and then you push the snooze button, change it around, count five, four, three, two, one, and go for it. The book will change your life. Me telling you this right now is, is just planting seeds. It's, it can't even compare to that actual book. The other book I read was High Performance Habits by Brendan Bouchard. You know, he was, giving it away online and I thought to myself, if I get this for free, I'm not going to appreciate it as much as if I go to the bookstore and I go spend the 40 bucks on it. So that's what I did. And I finished that book pretty quickly. There are amazing activities in there to, uh, to try out to really dive deep into your practices, about your confidence, about your capabilities. He's got amazing tools in there and like all of these people they have lots of free content online that you can go check out that is just absolutely phenomenal this book has changed my life many books change my life when I read them especially when I apply them especially when I do the activities in them I notice the difference I notice the difference in the way I feel my productivity um, my confidence I try things that I wouldn't have necessarily tried before because I start thinking, hey, I can figure this out. I figured out everything else I have to hear. Yes, by reading, by learning, by practicing, by putting myself forward. And these books, this, this book in particular was just so crucial. It came into my life exactly when it needed to. So another really wonderful book um, to help you 
really set your intentions before you jump into a project. Make sure you take the breaks that you need in order to come back into these projects in a way where you're still being efficient and not just burning steam. Um, and even just being a more thoughtful, intentional human being. Um, I definitely notice things about me as a parent, as a partner, as a friend, uh, change as well. So anytime I have the ability to read and learn from a book like this, I say go for it. Last but not least, well, actually, it's not really last. There's lots of books I would recommend to you, but I don't want this video to go forever. Um, it is Eric Barker's Barking Up the Wrong Tree. Again, uh, all these science-based books. Uh, it, it's the surprising myths about successful people and how basically everything you know is wrong. It was so insightful, uh, especially since they look at the small percentage of people that are doing so well and explore them more and find out what their traits are and find out what things work and what things don't and they run different tests and it's just it's a phenomenal book it was so informative and it's also a really great conversation starter if you're networking you don't know what to talk about that book has so much stuff in it you'll just wow your friends. It's pretty phenomenal. So I hope you found, uh, you know, something here that maybe sparked some interest and now you want to go out and get one of those books. You can ask your local library if they don't have it. A lot of them will bring them in. You can put yourself on wait lists. I was waiting for most of those books because they're so damn good. Everybody wants them. Or you can just buy them. And it'll be like the best investment and you'll watch yourself reap money back from it because you're going to start utilizing the things that you learn in those videos. So if you have questions yourself, make sure you send them to me. Just hashtag Ask Kilma and then at me at Kilma Music so that I can answer them.